What are DPOAEs and why do they matter as a part of a tinnitus exam? Distortion product otoacoustic emissions, or DPOAEs, objectively measure a person's hearing by verifying the outer hair cell integrity and the overall status of the inner ear. DPOAEs present two simultaneous tones to the inner ear and measure back a signal, or echo, generated from the motion of the cochlear hair cells in response to the auditory stimulation. When no reliable signal can be measured by an extremely sensitive microphone placed in the ear canal, a true organic hearing loss is likely at the frequency or pitch being measured. DPOEs are performed in a soundproof booth, and the results are interpreted by an audiologist to determine whether the findings are normal or abnormal. DPOEs are more sensitive and specific than standard hearing tests because they do not require a patient to participate or respond. Combined with other tests, they are especially valuable at helping diagnose complex auditory symptoms such as tinnitus, hidden hearing loss, and auditory processing disorders. DPOEs can also be used to monitor cochlear function with patients using ototoxic medications, such as with some chemotherapy or high doses of antibiotics. An example of the value of DPOEs for tinnitus patients is apparent in my DPOE measurements. I have tinnitus in my left ear, and my hearing thresholds on a steering, standard hearing test are all within normal limits. Especially interesting, though, is that my right ear has robust DPOEs across the frequency range. But in my left ear, my emissions drop below normal exactly at my perceived tinnitus pitch match and higher, so from 6 to 10 kilohertz. The reduced DPOE in my tinnitus ear confirms that I have noise-induced damage to the cochlear hair cells in my left ear, and my brain is responding to this change in input with hyperactivity, which I perceive as tinnitus. My DPOEs demonstrate how they are a more sensitive measurement of cochlear hair cell function than can be detected by a typical hearing test conducted under earphones.